going on YouTube? So I'm here with a buddy of mine, Nate Smith. What's going on? Um, we just got to the gym. We're sitting in his car. Um, we got the new 3Ds. We both got orange. Um, I wanted to do official taste testing for you guys. Um, I hope Christian watches this video. You know, I want him to see my first reaction on these videos. Or not reaction on these videos. Fucking first, first reaction on the drink. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try it and I'll let you guys know. Both of us first time having them. Excited, and for sure. It smells really good. It does. Alright, three, two, one. It's good. I ain't gonna lie. It's very good. It's good. It, kinda it tastes, is. It kinda tastes like orange crush. Yeah. I remember he mentioned in his video it tastes like orange soda. Yeah, it really does. And there's really not that much carbonation at all. No. no. Like, I could chug this and not feel bloated. There's 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's really good. Guys, this is a great drink. Um, I used to be a big fan of Bang, but now Bang doesn't even compare. Yeah, this blows out of the water. This is so good. And there's so many other flavors yeah, I have Yeah, it's not that carbonated at all. No, like I said, I could chug this yeah, and wouldn't sure. feel like bloated. But I'm not going to, I'm gonna savor it. <laughs> but uh, <Got> to. <laughs> we're about to jump into a workout. This is actually my second workout today. I'm going on vacation next week. I told you guys I'm going to vlog that for you. But uh, second workout of the day. Uh, since I'm not working out for a week, I'm hammering my body super fucking hard. So um, stay tuned and uh, you're about to see a combination of different lifts. Something crazy, weird, random. A little bit different, yeah. So uh, stay tuned. All right, what's going on YouTube? So today's video, I did a 3D taste testing for you guys. And uh, the rest of the video, I just want to talk to you about building mass. So... Um, if you're following this workout right now in the video, what we uh, started off with was a shoulder width uh, D-grip pull down. Um, we really want, the goal with this workout is we really want to just put as much blood into the muscle at the beginning and then as you see during the workout goes, we start doing um, sets of four. We did four sets of four and then dropped 12. But with building mass, that's the main topic of this video. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who doesn't, who don't think that they can build mass um, because you're very skinny or you're a hard gainer. Um, that's not the problem. I think the problem is people don't want to, you know, either a force feed themselves or you know b put in. I mean, I know it's expensive, but like you have, if you really want to put on the weight, it's possible. You just have to eat the right things, you know, train a certain way, and. Uh, you can really put on the size. I've known in the past couple years that I used to have a, uh, not fast, slow metabolism. And me coming from a slow metabolism, I was able to put on weight very quickly. Uh, I could look at cake and gain, you know, a pound or two. But uh, ever since I did my first bodybuilding competition, I uh, got down to 138 pounds from like 180. And it was a big cut because I really didn't know what I was doing. You know, I didn't have a coach at the time. I didn't have anybody like guiding me through the whole process so I kind of just like went by what I looked up you know peak week like I I overdid it I didn't carb up enough I actually depleted too much and uh, it kind of like it hurt my metabolism I would say because like I got so low of body fat and like I was only eating like 1100 calories a day but after that when I started bulking it was like it was like it sparked a whole different like me because after that, I had the hardest time putting on weight. Um, I think coming from a low uh, body fat percentage and then bulking up is best. Um, if you have a slow metabolism, get to a low body fat and uh, you'll have that fast metabolism afterwards. So that's kind of the problem I've been facing myself. Um, as you can see in these videos that I'm actually pretty lean and this is the peak of my bulk. Um, am I as big as I wanna be? No, but at the same time, I'm not one of those guys who wants to lose their abs um, in the off season. I just think because um, I've come, like I said, I've come from a slow metabolism background and it always takes me so much time to get my abs. So if I would have lost my abs probably with like three weeks left of my bulk, then I probably would have, you know, trouble getting them back. I would probably have to take six, seven weeks just to get them back because for me, abs are like the hardest thing to develop. I don't have nice thick blocky abs. I kind of just have 
like they're just there i train them hard i train them heavy i train them you know light body weight exercises whatever but they just don't like pop but I'm been, i've been working on it i'm not giving any excuses i've just been working on it so with gaining mass it's just it's all a mind game you really have to put forth the effort to uh to gain this mass you can't just you know snap your fingers and expect it to you know be there the next day you have to put the effort in day in day out and uh it's a process i tell you what it is a long process from the beginning of my uh semester this semester at school which started in january um i've gained about almost 20 pounds i started off the semester at 168 and i am currently about 185 86 at the end of the day on a good day so it's almost 20 pounds and you really can't tell that i have another 20 pounds on my frame if you go back to my previous videos like my very first video which isn't very good by the way but if you go back to my first video you can see that i'm pretty skinny and like i still look like i'm pretty skinny but i'm strong um i'm heavier and I just feel better, you know, I haven't been really tracking my macros and like that's a good thing for if you're a hard gainer, you really don't want to go so hard on the macros if you have a hard time gaining mass, you know, in the off season or if you're not a bodybuilder, you're just kind of, you know, trying to put on size. You really don't have to track macros if you're a hard gainer, but if you, if you aren't a hard gainer, then I would recommend, you know, tracking, it sucks to say this, but I would recommend tracking your bulk and your cuts, which, you know, like I said, sucks because like, I use the off season to get a chance to get away from you know my fitness pal, from the food scale, from you know grilled chicken because when the times when times come to start prep, grilled chicken gets old real quick. I mean, can I eat it every day for the rest of my life? Absolutely. Do I want to? No. I can make myself. I can make myself enjoy it because I know the results that it's going to bring. So with gaining mass, I would recommend not not even freaking tracking your macros. Just you know, like, you know what's good for you and you know what's not bad for you if you've been doing this long enough. So, you know, you know, portion it out. Don't, don't get a piece of bread and put, you know, five scoops of butter on it. Like, you know better than that. You just make sure every meal has protein. Um, if you know you're going to have a meal with no protein, drink a shake with your meal. That's what I do at school. I take a shake to, to the uh, cafeteria with me to get, when I get a meal and I know there's nothing good. Oh, you got but, Protein is yeah, like the, the most important thing I would recommend getting in whenever you are bulking, but that's really all the tips I have for you guys. I mean, hey, you, eat, eat, you might have to force uh, it down, to but you just gotta eat. I'm telling you, eat and train heavy. What's the point of lifting these heavy ass weights <laughs> if you ain't gonna eat? And what's the point of eating if you ain't gonna lift these heavy ass weights? So, thank you guys so much. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Damn right, Tom Brady's my man. Go Blitz. Matter of peace with the goats. Number 12, Sussel. You got an opinion on Tom Brady? Oh, I'm a big Tom Brady since 2015. I've been, I've been on the side more than anybody else in the world. For my, for my take. Since 2015, Super Bowl 49, I'm no longer a Steelers fan. Oh man, that's messed up. It's what? I'm a Patriots fan, no longer a team. So I think people are upset about that too. Since Greatness. <laughs> Can you stop that now? <laughs>